AI is becoming bigger part of our lives, from smart assistants like Siri to self-developing cars. When we talk about agentic AI, we mean systems that can act independently and make decisions without constant human input. These AI systems are designed to perform tasks on their own. Think autonomous cars that decide how to drive or robots that can operate in factories. But with all this power, it's crucial that these AI systems are trustworthy. If you are going to rely on them, they need to be safe, fair, and transparent. So how can we ensure that? I wrote a book back in 2015 about AI systems in healthcare, and I explained many aspects of it. And I predicted, which we are seeing today in healthcare systems. So in this video, I'm I'm going to talk about it in simple language so for everybody to understand what's going on. Transparency is important, my friend. Transparency is all about being open about how AI systems make decisions. If an AI is responsible for making choices that affect us humans, like approving a loan or making medical recommendations, we need to know why it made those choices and decisions. Imagine an AI makes a decision you don't agree with, but it's impossible to figure out how it came to that conclusion. That would be frustrating and raise suspicions. To build trust, we need systems that let people see the thought process behind the AI sections and actions. This means having clear documentations of the data and algorithms used. For instance, autonomous vehicles should be able to explain why they swerve or stopped suddenly? Was it a pedestrian, an obstacle, or a malfunction, like Tesla? If we understand why AI makes certain choices, we are much more likely to trust it. But can you trust Tesla vehicles? Well, look at the data I provided, documentations, and prove that there are some serious problems with this car. Just because AI can explain itself doesn't mean it's easy for us to understand. AI decisions can get super complex, especially when dealing with human and huge amounts of data. This is where interpretability comes in. It's all about making the AI's reasoning accessible to humans. For example, if an AI is helping doctors diagnose diseases, it should be able to break down its reasoning in a way that doctors can understand without needing a PhD in artificial intelligence to interpret the results. To make this work, AI developers might create features like easy to read reports, visualizations, or even natural language explanations of its decisions. If users can understand AI did what it did, they'll feel more confident relying on it. AI systems learn from data, and if the data used to train them reflects societal biases, the AI will inherit those biases. For example, if an AI is trained on hiring data that favors certain groups, it might unfairly discriminate against others. To avoid this, I suggest developers to create a system that ensures that data used is diverse and free of harmful biases. Creating fair AI systems means actively checking for bias at every single stage during data collection, training, and testing. So I believe developers need to create checks 
and balances to ensure that AI's decisions don't unfairly disadvantage anyone based on race, gender, age, or any other characteristics. I believe age is just a number. You can find, find a 12-year-old have a mind of 50-year-old, 60-year-old person, or vice versa. So the, the age is, is meaningless, really. Accountability is crucial in any system that makes important decisions. If an AI makes a mistake like an autonomous car causing an accident, like Tesla did, has been doing around the world, Tesla cars. So we have to find out who is responsible. Is it the car manufacturer, the developer, or the owner? It is important to have clear guidelines for accountability. This means having a system in place to trace and review decisions made by AI. Developers need to ensure that they can track the AI's decision-making process, even if it takes action independently. That way, if something goes wrong, it's easier to figure out what happened and who should be held responsible. Back in 2015, I created system because even my professors and those big boys in hacking and cybersecurity industry believe that nothing can be 100% secure. To prove that, I documented, created documentations and I designed an algorithm to make system secure from hacking. It's called link will within the will secure system. See, AI systems can be vulnerable to attacks. And if someone exploits a weakness, the consequences could be severe. For example, a hacker could manipulate a self-driving car's navigation system or alter data used by AI in medical record and medical devices. Ensuring that AI systems are secure from cyber attacks is crucial. So do you have to have the mind of a black hat hacker in order to make a system secure? Meaning you have to know all these different um, methods of hacking in order to create a, a secure system. My systems have been hacked all over again, all the time. So this triggered me to study hacking cybersecurity on personal level and designing anti-hacking systems, especially is good for banking systems, data, computer uh, companies, and software engineering companies. Also involves making sure that AI cannot act in harmful ways, even when there is an error or an unforeseen circumstance. So developers need to build, build in fail safes and regularly test the systems to make sure they're safe under all conditions. And it is possible. To sum it up, developing trustworthy agentic AI systems isn't just about creating a smart machines. It's about making sure they're safe, transparent, fair, and accountable. In my book, I provided how agentic AI works. I provided case studies in different industry, autonomous vehicles, healthcare, oil industry, banking system, everything you need to know about agentic AI and how to make, how to develop trustworthy systems is in my book. It's over 500 pages. And I did a lot of research in it. I provided many methodologies that can help policymakers because I've been for the last two and a half years, I've been helping policy AI policymakers in different companies 
and organizations as a freelance uh, freelancer and subcontractor. So I know what I'm talking about. Get the copy of my book. And thank you for watching this video. Have a good one.